The Astronomical Origins of the Seven-Day Week by Eric Chamshum Welcome, dear viewers. Today, we embark on a journey through time and the heavens to discover why our world lives by the rhythm of seven days. From the ancient skies of Babylon to the languages we speak today, the story of the week is written in the planets, the gods, and the traditions that shaped civilization. Sit back and let us explore the fascinating origins of the world's oldest calendar. This video is dedicated to my favorite astrophysicist, Neil deGrasse Tyson. From the frozen expanses of the Arctic to the southernmost settlements of Antarctica, humanity is united by a curious rhythm, the week of seven days. It is one of the very few systems of time shared across every nation, culture, and faith. Why not six days or eight, as some ancient peoples once tried? Why has the number seven endured everywhere and for everyone? The answer lies in the skies. Long before astronomy became a science, ancient observers noticed seven bright wanderers among the countless fixed stars. The sun, the moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Unlike the stars, these celestial bodies drifted across the heavens and were thought to be divine powers, each governing aspects of life. The Greeks called them planetai, wanderers, a word that gave us planet. The Babylonians, and later the Romans, organized time around these seven celestial rulers. Each was granted a day, and from this arrangement, our modern week was born. Over centuries, the names traveled through languages and cultures. In Italian, Spanish, and French, the Latin planetary gods remain visible. In English, however, Norse mythology joined Roman tradition, producing the hybrid set we use today. Sunday, from Latin di solis, day of the sun. English preserves this directly as Sunday. In Romance languages, Christian influence altered the form. Italian Domenica, Spanish Domingo, French Dimanche, all meaning Day of the Lord, though the solar origin remains. Monday, from Latin dies lune, Day of the Moon. The link is clear in Italian, lundi, Spanish, lunes, French, lundi. English also keeps the sense transparent, moon day. Tuesday, from Latin dies Martis, Day of Mars, God of War. Preserved in Italian, Martidi, Spanish, Martis, French, Mardi. In English, Mars was replaced by Tiu, or Tyr, the Norse war god, giving Tuesday, Tuesday. Wednesday, from Latin dies Mercuri, Day of Mercury, the swift messenger god. Still visible in Italian, Mercoldi, Spanish, Mercole, French, Mercredi. In English, Mercury was supplanted by Woden, Odin, chief of the Norse gods, hence Woden's day, Wednesday. Thursday, from Latin, dies Iovis, day of Jupiter, or Jove, god of thunder, preserved in Italian, Giovedi, Spanish, Hueve, French, Jodi. English replaced Jupiter with Thor, Norse god of thunder and storms, yielding Thor's day. Thursday. Friday. From Latin dies Veneris, day of Venus, goddess of love and beauty. Still clear in Italian, Venerdì, Spanish, Viernes, French, Vendredi. In English, Venus gave way to Frigg or Freya, Norse goddesses of love and fertility, creating Frigg's day. Friday. Saturday. From Latin dies Saturni, day of Saturn, god of agriculture and time. English uniquely keeps the Roman name directly as Saturday. In Romance languages, the word was reshaped under the influence of the Jewish Sabbath. Italian Sabato, Spanish Sabado, French Samedi. The Enduring Power of Seven. The seven-day week proved remarkably resilient. The Egyptians once tried a 10-day cycle, and revolutionary France briefly experimented with the same yet neither endured. Seven had become too deeply rooted in religion, culture, and habit. The number itself carried symbolic weight far beyond calendars. It recurs in the seven wonders of the world, 
the seven colors of the rainbow, the seven seas, the seven notes of the musical scale, and the seven virtues and deadly sins. Psychologists even suggest that seven matches the typical limit of human short-term memory, which may explain why it feels intuitively right. Later, astronomy revised our understanding of planets. Copernicus showed that Earth is itself a planet, while the Sun and Moon are not. Uranus, Neptune and Pluto were discovered in turn. Yet none of this altered the week. By then, the cycle of seven days was no longer about astronomy. It had become part of the fabric of civilization. The week of seven days is one of humanity's oldest inheritances. Whether we say Lunes, Macredi, Giovedi, or Friday, we echo the voices of ancient sky watchers who sought order in the heavens. The seven wandering lights may no longer guide science, but their rhythm continues to shape the lives of people everywhere. Thank you for watching. What do you think about this video? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content.